Hi, welcome to another video. Um, today we're doing Tokyo Google Break the Chains, and I'm doing a tier list because you have been asking. Um, for just a disclaimer, for the um, Japanese names, I ain't saying them. <laughs> um, I don't speak Japanese, but um, yeah, um, this is just my opinion. Um, and yeah, so we start off with um, this girl. Um, Akira, I think her name is. Um, she murdered she right? She got good splash damage, but she's only really a starting character, you know, for the new people. So I put her at C. She's not too bad. Um, next we have Armon. Um, he's alright. He's a good tank. Um, he has provoking all of that. So what that does, um, it pretty much just gets all the single attackers to attack him which can be good for distractions like say if you got um, Kaneki whenever he doesn't get attacked um, he upgrades his level of attack which can be good so I'll put him same level <laughs> yeah this ain't in order but like, I just chucked all the photos in um, next we have Twinblade um, He's really good, really good crits. Um, yeah, if you can get the RC cells right on him, crit damage, he's good. Um, and I'll put him probably around here. Next we have the um, Arima IXE, oh, IXE version, yeah. Um, S tier, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know, he's a bit of a pay to win character, but most of this game's pay to win because for this character he's only good past three stars because the only thing he's really useful for is the aoe and the three star ability which when he attacks he can give you shield oh uh, your whole team a shield and yeah that's about it but yeah fun. good damage um next we have the lightning version um he's good as well pay to win though if you can afford him um i think you have to get him three stars but what he does after you attack someone he'll pretty much go and attack them again after so just extra damage um next one ayato um he's me um pretty much the same as the last one the lightning version um but instead at the start of your turn he um, does an attack and he's one of the highest DPS characters I'm pretty sure and he gives status effect called lethal which for those of you who don't know it pretty much um, makes it so the other well, the people it hits can't heal at all so like if you still facing Hinomi or whatever she can't heal him or them <laughs> Um, next we have this person, um, I don't really use him, I, all I know is that he's a single tech, but he mid. <laughs> um, next Banjo, um, he's alright, not much to say, he's just a starting character, but I'll put him C. Um, Koji, definitely up there. Um, he's got good damage really good for if you're starting if you get him early fuck level him up i see heaps of new people making the mistake of just you know not putting him in his team using him as a sister order, but fuck that he's good as um yeah he's got um splash damage and so what that does so he, he's a single person attacker but when he hits them it also does eight percent of the damage to all the other people and he applies scorching which at the end of your turn it pretty much just damages them even more and yeah i reckon he's better oh fuck i'm gonna do it in order like this yeah so yeah so we'll go from left to right um next we have this fella mood you know starting character um chu um i reckon beats here he's 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 not too good holy fuck <laughs> he's not too good um He's got AoE, I guess, but that's about it. Like, yeah. Um, this fella, um, he's alright. 
put on my video. No, no, not much. I'm not gonna explain like you know all the, all the, what, like the non SSR characters because no, not really, no point because they're not really that good. Um, next we have Inji. I'll put on BT. He's not really that good. Um, he, he, he's got AOE, but that's about it. Like his attack's weak. He's not really strong. Yeah. Um, next, I think it's Gagi. <laughs> um, yeah, he can go there. No explanation for that. You know me. Um, definitely top 80. You know, because once you get like, she she's a good healer. Like she's a really good support unit and does good damage. Like so, what she does, she she attacks. Then like, I think maybe 20% of the attack heals her and then at the end of your turn I think it's 20% again or something like that and it heals your whole team but reason why she's not S tier is because once you get it oh fucking what's the name Uta he's, she's just irrelevant she's not really used or when you get late game and your regenerative RC cells are good then yeah I'm um, this fella nah shit <laughs> Um, Itori, um, I haven't really used her much, but she, she's decent, um, she gives, takes away debuffs, she heals, all of that good stuff, not as good as Hinami, you know, so I'll put her top of BT, next the normal version of this fella, um, he's alright, then we have his Arata version, um, bottom AT, I reckon, yeah, cause, He's a good tank, and he does, he, um, has the skill provoke as well, that, you know, gets the enemies to attack him, but, oh yeah, actually, I'm, I'm, from what I remember, he can give shield as well to your team, so, yeah, I'm still keeping it near there. Jason, um, definitely up there in A tier, um, he does what Ayato does, gives the enemy lethal. Um, he's got some strong attack, but the only bad thing is, um, is he's only a single attacker, unlike Ayato, he's, yeah, just up there. <laughs> Next is Juzo, up there. Um, mm, I'll put her there, better than Lightning God, only because, like, um, Toka, she, uh, he can chain his attacks, but... The only differences between Toka and Juzu, Juzu once Juzu attacks for the first attack, um, he, she goes, oh he, sorry, he goes to the enemies like a debuff called Death Something, <laughs> and what that does, it makes the next attack crit, like 100% crit. So when Juzu is used first, it's called Death Mark, that's what it's called, yep. If he, he applies death mark to the enemies and once you know one dies then he'll attack and all of those attacks will be crits so yeah it's just way higher than Toka uh, but yeah S tier definitely um, Toka can go up there too um, yeah same thing Chase you can chain it but it's not as good because Chase can't like 100% crit like Juzo can next is Karnaki um, definitely right there. Um, actually, we'll swap these around. Um, Kaneki, high, I think he's the second highest DPS in the game. Um, he applies weak, which makes the enemy um, take 40% more damage. Um, at 5 stars, like I have him, um, I think, oh no, I think it's 20, and then at 5 stars, I think it's 40%, something like that. Yeah, really high DPS and yeah, all that good stuff. Next is Karniki, yeah, starting line, not really too good. Um, Kaya, uh, chuck it there. Um, same as Angie, just no damage. Oh, she's got a good skill, I guess. So when she's paired up with another Antaiku member, like um, Angie, Karniki, all of them, um, she can attack again, kind of like how the Lightning God does. Um, I'm not too sure on the specifics of that, but I'm pretty sure 
when a Taiki member applies weak or gets a oh, like the you know the red thingies I think they're called weak yeah I think yeah um he, she attacks them again but doesn't really matter because she don't do enough damage for it to matter anyway um next this old lady um probably down there just starting character again uh, next, Corey. Um, I'll put her up here. She um, she's a single attacker, but from what I remember, when she attacks, she can give herself a shield, which can be good, but yeah, not really too good. Um, this fella. Um, his name Kiryu. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but I'll give him up better than you. Yeah, um, just same AOE attacker. Um, yeah, not too much damage, like you know, as the BT, you know. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> um, next, fuck, I don't know this fellow's name, but he's a he's all right, I think. I'll probably fix this up. So I reckon this fella, so I'm on, then her, him, uh, this fella, Banjo, sucks, pause. Yeah, gangsta. Um, next is Kuruna. Um, mid. Mid as hell. Um, we'll put you right there. Um, not much to say, she's just one of the three characters you get. And, you know, you can't expect anything good out of a free character. Um, next, the Warden. Um, I'll put him up there. Because his ability, he can stun. Right? And I think for every level 2 attack, he can stun. And that's good as, like, if you're in a boss world challenge, you know, you can stun him, not get attacked. That's about it. And his damage is not too good though. Oh uh, yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, staying there. Next on this bitch. Um I think she's AoE attacker. Yeah, but not too much damage, so I'll put her mm, right here. Um, yeah. Hey, no, you're wrong one. <laughs> not bad. Um this fella but the electrified thingy you're not too good you just one of these SSRs you know just, just throw away one <laughs> um Naki he, he's only really good for PvP because of his damage boost and all of that um he's a single attacker um and yeah that's all I gotta say um next Kuruna, I reckon bottom 80 because she's got more damage than the warden and she can also stun um there's no difference between like you know the stunning but just preference she's better than him in my opinion this fella sucks ass I'll put him top actually he's not that bad but um he pretty much just kills himself to give your team a boost and the boost ain't even really that worth it to be honest. Um, next is Nishiki. Uh, fuck. You can go. You can go there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, not too much to say. Starting character again. No worry. Um, bottom of. Oh no. Top of A tier, just because he's easy to get. So I think the fastest you can get him is if you're. Oh, the only way to get him is by PVP arena. And if you're first place, you can get him in two days with the because he's only three thousand. Um, he's good. Um, AOE attacker. Um, he's got a skill where when he's attacked, he can attack them back pretty much, like without using a skill, just a skill trigger. Yeah, and that's about it. Um, next, I think that's younger bin. The bin suck. 
not that it sucked, they just sucked, yeah. Um, this fella, um, Reese, oh. <laughs> Reese is ass. Nah, she's alright. She's, she's good for new characters. Um, she's the first character uh, you get, I think, from Spin, from Rose. Um, uh, the game gives you stars for her pretty e easily. Um, she's only really good for, you know, backup character, getting your CP up, or assist, getting, you know, more damage. Um, she's good for start, oh, like, the start of the game, I guess, like, when you first get her, because you don't get anything else, but once you get another SSR, then fuck, she's just gone, you know, no point of having her. So, I'll put her right there. Really sucks. Actually... No, not that suck. She's like right there. Um, next is Ryoku. Um, from what I remember, um, she can. So when she attacks, she kind of does like a provoke thing for a couple rounds, and gets defense and all of that. She she's a support character. Cause I'm pretty sure she heals your um, characters, but not as good as Hinami. So I'll put her around middle, like here. Yeah. Um, Renji, Renji's fucking amazing. Well, not amazing, but he's up there. Um, you can only get him from the carnival um, summons, which so there's the regular summons and the carnival summons for those of you who don't know. Um, the regular summons are, you know, like, there's the, the special banners, like, right now for, I think, the new servers, it's all kind of key in there. Um, but for Carnival, instead of the 3,000 gems you have to pay for, uh, you have to pay to, you know, um, roll 10 times or whatever. Um, it costs double, so 6,000 or 600, uh, 6,000 or 600 for one. And fuck, they're just harder to get. Oh yeah, so Itori, um, Ryoko, fucking Renji, and Arima are the only ones in the that are exclusive to the carnival. Um, but anyways, yeah, um, Renji, good character. So if he's in backup, he can boost your characters as well. Like, um, gives them defense stats and attack stats. I'm pretty sure. And when he's in your main line, he does good amount of damage and yeah, boost. Next we have Shachi, number one. Just broken, but just <laughs> pay to win as you have to spend I think at least around two grand to get him. The only way to get him is to get VIP levels, and it's VIP 12. And yeah, around two grand to get him, but he's broken. <laughs> so. Um, from what I was reading, he does um, 400% crit damage. So say you get his uh, like level three attack, that's 400% or 480% of his damage. And if you get a crit, then it's another 400%, which goes to 800%. So he just does a lot of damage. And he can same as Noro, he can attack back, which Ain't fun <laughs> if you have done the carnival um, region breakthrough. No, he sucks. Um, next is Shinohara. He's alright. Just one of those characters that you get from the start. Then we have the Arata version. I reckon he's up there. Um, he's got good damage and his buffs as well. He can increase defense and all of that by a lot. Um, and yeah, next is Shu, uh, put him there, put him there, yeah, there you come. um, same as this fella, um, he can, he provokes, has really, I think he's the second highest, um, HP person in the game, behind Arima um, his attacks doo doo but that's not really what you want him for like 
if you'll say example for example sorry you're on your organization boss weekly boss and it's a single attacker like um like i don't know just anyone that's a single attacker um you can use him to um, force you know them to attack him and he can just take it and that's about it um next this fella ass nah not ass actually i don't even know <laughs> i don't really use the new characters um next this fella um i'm pretty sure he's a aoe attacker which bumps him up a bit yeah next is this uta one of the best like when he goes on banner you have to get him like yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, he's just one of those characters you have to get pretty much what he does on his first level move any other attack that goes that goes after it will get upgraded to level 2 and when his attacks level 2 um, it'll upgrade all the cards in your inventory your deck or whatever you want to call it to level 2 as well and he, up he upgrades your defense attack and all of that all that good stuff so yeah definitely probably the best character in the game next to Shachi next Takizawa yeah, mid. Um, I think this is a younger bin um, he can go there right next to his brother because they're both not too good next is Saki um, he's a he's he's, he's alright he's an AoE attacker and he can do the same as Shachi and Nori he can attack back whenever he gets hit I think there's, there's um, a certain condition to it for like as most of them but um, I'll put him right there and see if there's any finalization Uh, yeah that's my list um hope you enjoyed i hope um you learned a bit about the characters um and yeah thanks for watching